The battle over a cemetery being planned at a Murfreesboro mosque didn't end when today's hearing did. Afterwards, a heated confrontation erupted out in the hallway and Channel 4's Larry Flowers was there for all of that. He joins us live from Murfreesboro now with more on what in the world happened down there. I tell you, Jennifer, I was right in the middle of all the action, but just a little bit of background on how we got here today. The Rutherford County Board of Zoning Appeals approved that cemetery back in January. Well, opponents were here in court hoping to get an injunction to stop it from moving forward. And I have the freedom to record. Have the freedom. I have I have the freedom to record. I've, put, I've had 10 death threats. Sir. Okay, okay. I've been on the Iranian news. Okay. It's very frightening what you all have done. Yes. Okay. Things got heated as mosque supporters and opponents stood toe to toe outside the courtroom. Keep lying. You're the one that's lying. Okay. It's not a religion. Opponents just wanted their day in court. They were seeking an injunction, hoping to stop the cemetery at the Islamic Center from moving forward claiming there is standing water at the site and also traffic concerns. But the shocker came when a motion asking Judge Robert Corlew III to recuse himself was granted. Because the Islamic Center felt that Judge Corlew couldn't give them a fair trial. And I think it was sad today that all the people that took off work to be here. No one seemed to be off limits. Some opponents even latched out at me. I don't have a dog in this fight, so you do not touch me. You hear me? Please, Please don't hurt her. Please stop trying to hurt her. What are you talking about? I'm not I, hurting anyone. This man put this his hands on me. As well as a student journalist from the University of Maryland College Park campus, okay, on opponents the screen, claimed uh, she was secretly recording them when she was right alongside other members of the media in that public courthouse. In my camera. Wait, no, you came in. I know what you did. So. What did I? Uh, maybe you all can get and and you're that. really inciting work. It's really scary what you're doing. Uh, the hysteria and the level of emotion that's been associated with the issues in this case have been prevalent, high throughout, uh, and I think that spilled over after the judge decided to step down. Well, the plaintiffs will have 15 days to appeal the judge's ruling, or they could just simply wait on the clerk of the court to appoint a new judge. That is the story live from downtown Murfreesboro. Larry Flowers, Channel 4 News.